All right, so I'll be honest with you guys. Today, I'm kind of under the weather. I don't know if I got COVID or whatnot. So we're gonna make a soup recipe, but we're gonna put a twist on it. We're gonna make ramen, but it's kind of gonna be like a Thai variation. We're gonna use coconut milk, a couple of different curry pastes. It's gonna be delicious. It's gonna be easy. Perfect if you're feeling under the weather. So without further ado, let's get to cooking. Okay, so we're gonna start in a shallow pan. This is a 10 inch pan. You can also use a medium sized pot if you want. I'm gonna use the pan so you guys can see a little bit better. We're actually gonna cook the whole dish or the whole soup in this pan. All right, so we're gonna place this pan on a medium low heat, add a little bit of avocado oil. This is about a tablespoon's worth just to get those shallots to start to simmer a little bit. You don't need much oil. And now once the oil is hot, we're gonna add some shallot. This is about maybe two tablespoons worth of shallot. As always, a little bit of salt on your shallots to draw out some of the moisture. Now, after a few minutes, the shallots will start to turn translucent. I don't want them to be caramelized because I don't want to bring out the sweetness. There's a little bit of sweetness in the coconut milk. We don't need it. Now, we're gonna add about two cloves of minced garlic and then about a quarter inch piece of some ginger that we minced up. Now, the garlic is antimicrobial and the ginger is good for your stomach. So definitely, you want to add this to pretty much every soup that you make. As you can see, my heat was a little bit too hot. My Shallots started to get a little toasted, but that'll be fine. I'm gonna add just a little bit of turmeric. Now turmeric, there's a lot of health benefits to turmeric too. You have to look them up. I can't think of any off the top of my head. I think it's like lower blood pressure, things like that. So just a little bit of turmeric. It's gonna add some nice color as well. Now this is gonna give it that Thai flavor. There's a lot of lemongrass in this. It's a little bit of green and a little bit of red curry paste. I'm also gonna add two dried shiitake mushrooms. I don't like the texture of mushrooms, but I love the flavor, and especially shiitake mushrooms are my favorite. Go ahead and give this a stir into all the shallots and the garlic when it's smelling nice and fragrant like that. Now I'm gonna add about a teaspoon or so of some soy sauce, maybe a tablespoon of soy sauce, and then same thing, about two teaspoons of some fish sauce. This is literally just the Thai soy sauce. It's gonna add a lot of nice umami to this soup, a lot of nice umami to our ramen. Now to get a little bit of a sesame flavor, just a half a teaspoon of sesame oil. You can also finish with the sesame oil. I'm just gonna add it now so I don't forget. Now we're gonna add about a cup or so of some chicken stock, not much. Now in Thai cooking, it's pretty common to add some kind of sugar, palm sugar, brown sugar, white sugar, something like that. I don't like it too sweet personally, so I'm gonna leave the sugar out. And like I said before, the coconut milk, it has a little bit of sweetness to it, even though it's unsweetened coconut milk. But if you like it sweet, add a teaspoon or two or a tablespoon of some brown sugar, some palm sugar, and it'll sweeten up your soup just a little bit. So now, once this is to a gentle simmer, and the chicken stock is reduced by, you know, about half or maybe about a quarter or so, there's still a little bit of liquid left in the pan, we're gonna add one can of coconut milk. Go ahead and give this a quick stir until all that's combined evenly. It smells absolutely amazing in here. You guys will see once you make this recipe, it smells divine. So what I'm actually gonna do is add a touch more chicken stock because I wanna have enough liquid to cook our noodles. So now we're gonna bring this to a gentle simmer. Let that coconut milk, that chicken stock, and all that come together. And then what we have to do here is taste this real quick for salt. I don't wanna make it too salty, so we're just gonna give it a little taste. Ooh, that's delicious. It doesn't need anything. So keep in mind that a little bit of salt on the shallots plus the soy sauce and fish sauce adds salt. So be careful with the salt, don't add too much. We're also gonna add some lime juice, a little bit of acid to this to balance it out. So now what I'm gonna do is add the ramen. This is just normal ramen noodles. So you just take a ramen noodle packet, discard the seasoning packet and just take these noodles. And it's gonna go right into the soup. So after about three minutes or so, this is gonna be cooked. It's a very easy recipe, guys, I'm telling you. Now, obviously, if you were cooking this in a pot, the ramen would be covered with the liquid. But like I said before, I want you guys to see what's going on. If I use a pot, sometimes it's hard to see into the pot with, when cooking. So that's why I went with a pan, but it'll cook Cook, don't worry, we're just gonna flip this around and you'll see the noodles will start to separate here in a minute. It's been about a minute, the ramen's already starting to separate apart. I'm just gonna take some uh, chopsticks here, just separate them so that they finish cooking. We got another, about another minute, minute and a half of cooking and then the ramen will be done. And if you decide to do it in a pan at this point, the noodles are completely submerged, so I wouldn't worry about it too much. So now once the noodles are just about cooked, we're gonna go ahead and turn off the heat. They'll finish cooking in the liquid. It's hot, trust me, they'll cook. You don't want them to be super soft. You still want them to be a little bit al dente, at least in my opinion. If you want them soft, cook them more. Do whatever you like. Okay, so now we're gonna finish this with a little bit of coriander. And then I have some green onion here. It's gonna give it some nice color, some fresh onion flavor, some fresh coriander flavor. And then now we need a little bit of acid for balance. It's gonna balance out the saltiness. So a little bit of lime juice. You can also use a little bit of vinegar. I like lime juice, especially if we're making like a Thai fusion type dish. 
lime is the way to go. Give this one final mix here. Give it a nice stir. And there it is, very, very simple. Let's go ahead and serve it up. All right, now without spilling this all over the place, we're gonna add the ramen right to a nice ramen bowl. And you can get these bowls at the Asian market, you can get them online. And then what I like to do here is I like to put the mushrooms on top. Now everything I'm gonna do here is optional. We're gonna add a soft boiled egg, a little bit of my homemade chili oil. The recipe's on my website, don't worry. If you like it spicy, this stuff is addictive. A Little bit of green onion there for garnish. Two little slices of kombu and some black sesame seeds. And that looks pretty right there. And there you have it, that's our beautiful coconut milk ramen, some ramen soup, whatever you wanna call it. Let's go ahead and give it a try. Wow, yo, this is fire, oh my God. I'm not just saying this, this might be the best ramen I've ever made. It's hands down, it's creamy, it's got a nice amount of salt in there, which you want when you're sick, you want that salty chicken noodle soup vibe. It's got a little bit of heat from that chili oil, but you don't have to use it. Some nice umami from the mushrooms, the fish sauce, the soy sauce. The noodles have that bite that you want in ramen, that nice al dente bite. I'm very happy with the way this turned out. I highly recommend giving it a try, especially if you're under the weather. If you enjoyed this video or you learned something, give me a like, subscribe, make sure you share this with your friends and family, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.